game. There we go, chat. There we go. I hope this is a murder simulator. Me too, but I really don't think it is. <laughs> Funny how a program designed to help organize your life. Oh, it's not voiced? Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Oh, it is. Okay. This is just her thinking, I guess. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Week 35. Hello? Meredith, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Steve, you're a right. dick. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, the vacation one. Do you have to? Do you really have to? Jerk. Sure. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Why do well, you go deliver mail on your vacation? You hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. <laughs> This is happening. This is actually happening right now. A. Walk back to the mail truck. Okay. A. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Thanks, chat. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts last three years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, um. Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. <laughs> You're mixing it up on me, guys. Hold on a second. All right, go to the mailbox and hit... Hey, whoa, wait, wait, slow down. Not this time. Go to the back first. Open the hatch. Okay, select parcel. I only have one parcel. 
Okay. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought. Oh, that's not good. See, what we have to do is there's a number on the mailbox and we need to match the number to the package in the back of the car because there might be more than one. So you really have to be under game with this. All right, here we go. Hope nobody comes and steals this. Go back to the truck. Just take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. You know what I really like about watching baseball? What's that, Not Frank? Missing the first pitch. Oh. <laughs> I just, I know. <laughs> Frank. Take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. <laughs> Such a getter. Okay. Hey. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer Plastic do that Frank. for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Grizzle says, that's weird. I didn't have those issues when I started playing the game. Um, are you talking about this issue? Because this is just barely holding down the controller. Yeah, and then if you hold it down a little bit, it goes like this. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. And then you can be like, get it to be done ya! Woo! Hee hee! Let's see it. Come on, girl. Show me. Oh, there it is. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, power walking. Yes! Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. It's a nice ass house. Oh, it's our parents' house. Weiss residence. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Your mom is awesome. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, good. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. What? I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, hold up. Okay. I'm gonna let this game speak for itself for a sec. One sec. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Yeah, 
I guess. Good morning. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. I'm actually enjoying this. package in the truck.
Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. I am currently in talks with uh, with many different companies um, about getting fiber out to my new house, and that was one of them. So that that's one of the people that I kind of that's one of the calls I got to take. <laughs> it was a very cool guy. He actually, dude, just talked to me while he's on paternity leave. Um, pretty incredibly cool. So yeah, that's that was kind of awesome of him. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Am I am I blocking the road? Oh, I'm so sorry. Is this is this a, a bad? bad spot oh my my fault man it's too bad you can't go around me huh mm, it's really unfortunate okay so let's go deliver some more mail all right what's gonna be hilarious is that is that guy I was just talking to on the phone it's like oh yeah you know I've, I've I haven't met a game streamer and I was like yeah you know I, I play video games and it, and he got my he got my address if he pulls this up right now first of all thank you second of all most of the games I play are not like this. Let me just say that right now. This is not this is not a normal thing. Um, this is if you're very confused by what you're seeing, don't worry, we all are. Yeah. Um Yeah, so we're gonna We're gonna go from there. <laughs> Dude, can I get pulled over in this small town? Yo, where's my where's my sound? Okay, let's see. I can I just got the you, you, your job is people watch you deliver mail. Is that, is that what you do for a living? That, that's why you want a fiber connection is so people can watch this. Why? I don't, I don't understand. Why do they, why do they do that? Is there some other thing that happens, or do you just deliver them? Why? <laughs> Havoc says it sounds very judgy towards us. Uh, well, to be fair, we should be judged for this, so... I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. Alright, so these dumpsters over here is where we... Oh, no, it's the mailbox. I don't just put the mail in the dumpster. Okay. I forgot. This isn't real life. <laughs> mail for you. Ooh, interesting. What is... What's interesting? Did you read her mail? Or is it the fact that you put a mail in a mail... What's in... What? Of all the things to say, why would you say that? Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, this takes me back. Does it? Oh, look, look at this mailbox. It's a cat. It's a cat. Wait a second. The whole point of a mail truck is that I can... I, I can't pull up and deliver the mail? What in the... Oh, it's the back of the cat. No, it's not. Is that its paw? Why is there... Why is there a face in the back? Is that its tail or its... What? Oh, kitty! Oh. Multiple kit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, is it the crazy cat lady? Why can't I deliver mail here? 
Oh, it's a package. 200 Lake Road. Okay. Is that my house? I don't think... I don't, I don't believe so. All right. Oh. I wonder what's in this package. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. They're, they're never going to guess. Uh, Drissel, I'm excited for our fitness event. If we can reach the goal, I need to get into shape. Would love to see meal photos on Twitter. Nice power walking, by the way. Don't worry. There's no way we're going to meet that charity goal. So you can you can fatten up, buddy. You can fatten up. Oh, look, we can all be Genevieve, fat together. A new Thank you very much for your uh, 19 Hello there. Here. What's your name then? Um, I'm not a male man exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss, male woman. Well, I'm not a male man exactly. Get with the times. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. I'm sorry, madam, what did the five fingers say to the face? Stop me if you've heard this one. Um, it's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want yeah. the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Mildred Jenkins? I mean, how could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats? Of course, seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to, I... like Genevieve here and Thomas and Oliver? Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Oh God, let's 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 nosy ourselves in here. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. I'm sure he means well. He's probably get a little just nosy busy. here. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. How dare you? Oh, my God. What is wrong with this one? Oh, that's a tree. Right. Come get your damn package! What is this game? I think if you, you've seen everything this game is, if you've been here for more than like three and a half seconds. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Nice. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. 
If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs>